Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This year, one of the smallest, most compact hurricanes I've seen. This is Hurricane Oscar. It's about to make a big turn. I want to show you why in this video. And thank you for getting the word out about this in Cuba. Uh, widespread power outages in Cuba, not due to the weather, due to the energy uh, crisis. So thank you if you have friends, family there that you could connect with, especially in eastern Cuba, to get the uh, word out about this. I do appreciate uh, that. Uh, over toward the Bahamas, we'll be watching over toward Cockburn Town, Long Island, uh, Crooked Island uh, for some at least tropical storm uh, impacts with this. And then I want to show you Bermuda and even Canada as this makes a big turn as we get down the road. So a lot to cover with this. And then we'll swing back to what's left of Nadine, which we were covering a lot in yesterday's video. So right through the Bahamas, of course, over 700 islands in the Bahamas. We're watching this here. It's going to dive a little bit down to the south. This, that very small, compact uh, hurricane, uh, Oscar, moving toward eastern Cuba. And then it will swing back up toward uh, the Atlantic, crossing parts of the Bahamas, not all of the Bahamas. The impacts are in a very small spot. So today, watching the intensity, and once this does make uh, landfall tonight again over Cuba, of course, it's been moving over uh, near the Turks and Caicos, and then over through the uh, Bahamas now, and then southern Bahamas, and then swinging back toward eastern Cuba tonight it may actually eventually dissipate. There's a chance it could completely fall apart with some of the higher terrain in eastern Cuba. That's where we have some of the tallest uh, uh, terrain on Cuba. Western Cuba, a whole lot flatter, uh, central portions as well. So there is a chance it dissipates, but either way, Monday it's going to make a big turn. That's tomorrow. Slide through parts of the central and southern Bahamas and then lift its way near Bermuda, but there should then be another weakening trend, and it kind of gets tied into a front as we work our way into Wednesday. So a lot going on here. Again, a small area of hurricane conditions and tropical storm conditions. Turks and Caicos, we're going to be in better shape. This will move again tonight toward eastern Cuba and then make that turn through parts of the Bahamas. Northern Bahamas, we're in good shape. It's just that little sliver uh, that I was mentioning where this will be eventually going over. Why is it making such a big turn? Well, high pressure is going to slide off over here. We have a trough or a front kind of sliding back toward parts of the United States. That gives this an alleyway uh, to move right in between, and that's why it's going to make a turn. This trough or front is going to help grab it, if you will, and, and turn it and kind of lift it up toward Bermuda as we work our way over the next few days. So that's the setup. High pressure moves off. We have a front sliding in, and that will help grab it and steer it as we head over the next uh, few days. Now, I mentioned how small of a hurricane this is, just incredibly small. That's why it makes it very difficult for even the models to see, and that's why I'm looking at everything in the environment. This orange shading here, those are the tropical storm force winds. The red shading, those are hurricane force winds. And that is such, such a tiny area. And this will kind of make its way toward eastern Cuba and then eventually swing back. So as far as the impacts go, it is a very small area that will actually be getting impacted uh, by this. But if you're in some of the areas I was mentioning, uh, again, again, New Providence, this is all mainly down to the south. Uh, Georgetown, keep an eye on some gusty winds, but mainly to the uh, south. But in this sector here, and especially eastern Cuba, you do want to stay in place in eastern Cuba. We're going to be dealing with those hurricane conditions coming in uh, for tonight and early tomorrow and watching that small impact zone with it. We'll get into Bermuda and Canada in just a moment. So as far as the maximum winds are concerned, eastern Cuba, we're looking at some of the winds that could be near 80 miles per hour, 130 uh, kilometers an hour for a small sector. There's some of that higher terrain though that could eventually uh, rip this apart totally. But if it hangs together somewhat, and it should somewhat, there'll at least be some gusty winds sliding through the south central Bahamas right in through here. Some of the winds could be around 60 miles per hour, 95 kilometers an hour. Nothing we can't handle as a whole. This is not going to stall out. It's not going to be a Dorian. It's not going to do a Dorian or anything like that. Not even as strong. Uh, it'll kind of work its way away. Turks and Caicos, as this moves away, some gustier winds today, 45 miles per hour or about 70 kilometers an hour. So I really like to break it down island by island. But here's that big turn, and that is a, kind of a crazy turn, and that's why I wanted to show you why it was going to make that turn. And then this will make its way near Bermuda. Kind of a wait and see, though, as we get a, a bit down the road. Now, in the short term, at least as of now, it is a hurricane. As we get a day out in time, all of the models have this weakening. That makes sense because it's going to move over land and move over the higher terrain. Tropical systems feed off of the warm water, and once it's over land, it is going to start to weaken. Some of the uh, computer models just have this totally uh, fall apart or get mixed into a front as this lifts up to Bermuda. Speaking of which, so in Bermuda, uh, we're not in action mode. We're just kind of in monitor mode, uh, keeping an eye on this. It's not going to be anything we can't handle across Bermuda, but 
as we get into Wednesday, we could have some tropical storm conditions uh, sliding either right through, maybe to the south. So just monitoring its strength over the next 24 hours, seeing what's left of it as it uh, passes over eastern Cuba uh, by tonight and tomorrow. And you see it here in the model, and I want to show you the winds in a second and the European model, plus, of course, the rain. Look how tiny that is. Doesn't diminish how powerful it is. It is a hurricane just impacting such a small area. This is by tomorrow morning, right over eastern Cuba, and it will be very interesting to see together if uh, Cuba kind of does its toll on this and has it uh, really a weaken over the high terrain. And then it will start to whatever's left of it, uh, it'll start to move its way back toward the north and northeast, at least some of those tropical storm conditions. I mentioned some of the winds around 60 miles per hour as it kind of lifts to the north. The American model by Tuesday morning just has this kind of getting all mixed into a front and shooting up toward the northeast. So overall, once it makes landfall again in Cuba, we will see that weakening trend with it. And then we're mainly looking at those tropical storm conditions that will be lifting up. This is by the time we get into Tuesday. So let me wind this out. This is Tuesday as we get into Tuesday night. Here's Bermuda, Atlantic region of Canada. Now, a few things going on here. Here's Quebec. You see a front that is diving by. That's that front that is helping to uh, kind of steer this and uh, help it go here. Now, by Wednesday, we could have at least some tropical storm conditions sliding through uh, Bermuda. No hurricane conditions, though. And then this gets tied into a front, but that also means while it won't be tropical at this time, it's going to be a big wind and rainmaker near Nova Scotia, watching near Prince Edward Island, keeping an eye on New Brunswick, but especially over toward uh, Newfoundland as we work our way into Thursday. So watching us in the Atlantic region of Canada. Front comes in, kind of helps draw this moisture up. We're going to see a lot of rain, especially in the extreme Atlantic region of Canada, far eastern zones as we work our way into Thursday and potentially even early on Friday. Now, I mentioned how small it is, a compact uh, hurricane. And you can see here, this wind field is super small. It is one of the smallest I've seen. You see those winds right in there, and that's it. So this is not going to have wide-ranging uh, impacts, uh, but we are thinking of our friends in eastern uh, Cuba with some of those hurricane conditions. And then as this makes a turn, the American model is simply having trouble kind of seeing this. This is by the time we get into Monday and Tuesday. It's even hard to see. If you just looked at this map on a regular day, it'd say uh, there's no system out there. Now, it may very well dissipate. But at the least, we'll see that chance of some of the gustier winds through parts of the central and southern uh, Bahamas. And then we'll see this kind of lifting its way up toward Bermuda. But there is that chance it does uh, fall apart. So you see it here on the European model. So here's Jamaica. Now, Jamaica, uh, Puerto Rico, uh, Barbados, just picking spots. Belize, this is, this is not coming our way. Oscar, again, highlighting parts of Cuba and the uh, Bahamas as it leaves the uh, area of Turks and Caicos as it works off to the west. Here's what's left of uh, Nadine, which did bring us some flooding in several areas yesterday. Now here's high pressure. Why is this not coming to Florida, for example? Well, high pressure is locked in. Uh, that's been a big player acting as a blocker. But I mentioned high pressure is going to kind of start to uh, shift. So let me get into a uh, Monday. This is tomorrow. Here's the spot here. Lots of weakening showing that as it makes landfall over parts of Cuba. So there it is right there. This is by the time we get into Monday afternoon. Now it's left of Nadine. If there's a little circulation left, it'll keep its name. If the circulation falls apart, though, totally over the higher terrain, of Mexico, it'll get a new name on the eastern Pacific side, but I'm not seeing this kind of swinging back into Mexico. I'll show you that on the big picture, but here we go. This is by the time we get into Tuesday. Now, by Tuesday, you can see these steering conditions. High pressure starts to slide off. That's what I was showing you earlier. And then we see our next front that will be moving in. So this is why it's going to make a turn. That big blocker, uh, the blocker is still in place as a whole for the United States. But that area of high pressure starts to slide off. We're going to see a front that moves in. And that front is going to help to kind of steer this as that area, area of high pressure wiggles off to the east. So it gives it that pattern. It gives it that alleyway uh, to make its turn and work its way up closer to Bermuda, but it's really going to be in different fashion as it moves through the Bahamas uh, into on uh, to, or tomorrow into Tuesday and then making its way toward Bermuda. It gets kind of tied into the front, so it's really going to start to lose its tropical characteristics. It doesn't even look like a tropical system at this time on Wednesday. Here's Bermuda right here, so kind of a sloppy mess that could uh, be nearby as this area starts to work its way up there. So this here again by Wednesday, the front is going to grab this, kind of steer it up into this direction, and then 
watching the Atlantic region of Canada. It's really going to enhance the winds and rain I mentioned later in the upcoming week for the Atlantic region of Canada as that continues to lift its way up to the north. Now this developed right over a very warm pocket of water. Look at the waters in the Gulf of Mexico because of Helene, uh, Nadine, again, the Gulf overall, the water temps have gone down, but this spot right here in the Atlantic, uh, you can see here uh, some of those uh, water temperatures, 30, even 31 degrees Celsius. So Oscar was able to really feed off of those wa uh, warm water temperatures of about 86, 87, even 88 degrees Fahrenheit, that gave it that fuel. And that's why it kind of went from nothing to something uh, very quickly. And you see it right there. Here's the broader picture. Now, unsettled weather, Barbados, Grenada, we'll see some scattered showers and storms through Trinidad. Here's what's left of that broad circulation now. It got ripped apart, of course, as it moved over land. This is Nadine, still watching out for areas of rain and storms. The Yucatan, watching over toward uh, Belize and then swinging back near Guatemala and Mexico. So if a part of the circulation does stay together, It'll eventually get named Nadine again on the uh, Pacific side. But if it doesn't, if it's just kind of the leftover rain and the circulation really fizzles out, it'll get a new name on the Eastern Pacific side. But I'm not seeing this kind of swinging back. But this area will at least redevelop. So here's Oscar watching out for scattered areas of rain and storms that are going to approach us for the upcoming week in the Eastern Caribbean. This here is by the time we get into Monday. There is uh, Oscar right there. This is what's left of Nadine. You see that moisture kind of pulling over? toward the eastern Pacific side. So as you go from Monday and Tuesday, you can see some redevelopment. We have that crossover system right there. There's that redevelopment, but this area should continue to work away on Tuesday, working away from Mexico. And then here is that sloppy mess as we work our way into Tuesday. What's left of Oscar right there. But for us in the Eastern Caribbean, you see some showers possible. Dominica back through uh, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, scattered areas of rain as we get into the uh, week ahead. Now getting down the list of names pretty quickly, uh, uh, at least as of late, this October has been uh, wild to say the least. So devastating uh, with uh, the likes of, uh, Milton, and again, we were watching uh, Helene, uh, the, the whole season, uh, Beryl, Debbie, just uh, just incredible, uh, ter incredible in the bad sense of the term, uh, hurricanes that we've had this year. So uh, Nadine falling apart and then kind of regenerating in the Pacific. We have Oscar out there. The next name on the list is uh, Patty. Hurricane season goes all the way through the end of November, and those water temperatures I just showed you still very, very warm. So I do expect some additional uh, spin-ups as we go through the uh, rest of the uh, season. Of course, the higher waves, higher seas as we work our way near where Oscar is. The Atlantic waters, though, really building as we get into the week ahead. This is Wednesday as what's left of Oscar kind of makes its way up toward uh, Bermuda and the Atlantic region to Canada. Those seas are going to be building. This here is on Thursday, so thinking of our boaters and uh, mariners out there. As far as the rain is concerned, this yellow shading in here, even almost that green shading, as this moves over East Cuba, and makes its turn. It's going to be over eastern Cuba for a little while, and that means we could get upwards of 10 inches of rain or 250 millimeters of rain. Fortunately, as it does accelerate over parts of the Bahamas, that'll help kind of keep some of the rain totals down, but still this white and black shading in here, so south central Bahamas, we're looking at some spots of 100 to 150 millimeters of rain or four to six inches of some rain to keep you covered out on that. Keep me posting the comments across the Bahamas. Uh, and we're thinking of our friends in Eastern Cuba with those uh, power outages. Keep me posting the comments on what you're getting and we'll go back and forth as we uh, go throughout the uh, day. Now, all of this thing just to the north of Haiti. So Haiti, Oscar's not coming our way. It stays away for Haiti, the Dominican Republic. I mentioned Jamaica, Cayman Islands. Oscar's not going to take a dive down. I showed you why it's going to do uh, kind of what it will do, but still those spotty showers. And you see a little purple showing up as we get into the upcoming week. Guadalupe, Dominica, uh, south. We're going to get some totals around 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. Could be a little bit more. Barbados, St. Lucia, down through Trinidad, it's going to be unsettled. No organized system here, but scattered areas of rain, even northern sections of Guyana, northeastern sections of Venezuela, Suriname, rain chance stays relatively low. Here's that rain headed back toward Mexico, and you still see some spots here, 200 millimeters of rain or eight inches of rain right in through here with the remnants of Nadine uh, crossing from uh, Mexico back into the uh, Pacific side. Mexico City north, uh, not a whole lot, and of course, Texas, uh, just way, way too dry. So Jamaica, those scattered areas of rain and storms, about a 50, maybe 60% chance the next few days. 
Oscar stays away. Same thing Cayman Islands. Watching out for that chance of some spotty showers and storms. And there's that 40 to 50% chance for today into the upcoming week for Trinidad and Tobago. So while it's not any named system nearby, we'll see the, that chance of some scattered areas of rain. Could get a couple stronger thunderstorms as well. Barbados, St. Lucia, about a 50% chance over the next three days. 50% chance in Grenada. So the scattered areas of rain and storms. St. Vincent and the Grenadines into the upcoming week. That moisture coming in from the Atlantic. Martinique, about a 50% chance over the next two days. And a 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers and storms across Dominica. 50% chance of the next two days in Guadeloupe. In the next couple of days, Antigua and Barbuda, about a 40% chance passing variety of showers. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, 30 to 40% chance into the upcoming week. And we do that again, Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance today, 30%. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia, about a 40% chance uh, for our Monday. 30 to 40% chance of some spotty showers and storms across Jamaica. Kind of hit or miss. Could see a few U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Breezy, watching the elevated seas. Bahamas, of course, highlighting that. Northern Bahamas were doing better. Uh, watching the uh, central and southern Bahamas for the impacts of Oscar, but kind of a small area of impacts. Turks and Caicos, all of the action now moving away as it works its way toward Cuba. Dominican Republic, 30 to 40% chance. And you see as we work our way into Haiti, just an isolated chance of a shower, both today and tomorrow. Belize, still very unsettled with what's left of Nadine working its way back through Mexico. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, rain chance about 20 to 30 percent. It may get a little higher by the time we get into the mid uh, middle of the upcoming week. Northern uh, sections of Guyana, better chance of some rain. And if we get a few showers around in Suriname, best chance will be in our northern sections. Now we swing back toward Cuba. Of course, the hurricane impacts extreme eastern Cuba as we go over the next uh, 24 hours. Costa Rica, Panama, rain chance about a 60%, 50% chance as we slide through Nicaragua, about a 50% chance as we get through uh, Honduras today and tomorrow. Guatemala, more unsettled with the remnants of uh, Nadine. Most of that is just to the north of El Salvador, but still those scattered areas of rain and storms. Mexico City, we're up to about a 50% chance tomorrow, 40% chance as we work our way into uh, Tuesday. Rain chance, 60% across the Yucatan today. Unsettled with what's uh, left of uh, Nadine. Northern Colombia, 30 to 40% chance. 30% chance as we get into northern Venezuela. And as we work our way into Bermuda, uh, we'll be watching over toward Wednesday to see if most of this moisture is just to the south or just simply moves in with a better chance of rain. Excuse me, my puppy's trying to get some water. Here you there you go. Okay, all right. We get a look at uh, Hurricane Oscar uh, right here. Watching those uh, impacts today, which I did highlight. Very tiny hurricane, but it will make that curve. And I did show you why. And we'll be watching near Bermuda and then the Atl Atlantic region of Canada as we get into the upcoming week. And what's left of Nadine working its way west into the Pacific. So thank you for getting the word out about Oscar, especially with what's going on in Cuba with the widespread uh, power outages. So if you could just kind of get that uh, correct information out uh, to our friends in Cuba, I do really appreciate that. Thinking of everyone uh, best I can. So stay well and have a good day ahead.